1980'lerde ve 90'larda İstanbul'da büyürken e, internet yoktu. Dünyada neler olup bittiğini bilme fırsatım yoktu. Uzaktaki zihinlerle bağlantı kurma fırsatım yoktu. Ve kendimi oldukça izole hissediyordum. Bu yüzden Digital Futures'ın değerini çok iyi anlıyorum. İnternet tabi dünyaya erişimi sağladı. Ama bilgi alışverişinin sınırlarını gerçekten kıran asıl Digital Futures gibi girişimlerdir. Yıllardır çok seçkin konuşmacıları, düşünürleri, yazarları, sanatçıları çıkarıp dünya çapında serbestçe erişilebilir hale getiren bir organizasyondan böyle bir ödül almak benim için gerçekten çok büyük bir onur. Bu yüzden komiteye çok çok büyük teşekkürler. Thank you so much to the committee. I'm really honored to receive this award from an organization so dedicated to making education free and accessible. Şimdi birkaç dakika işlerim hakkında kısaca konuşacağım. Many years ago, I had this realization that all my work was about waves, and it was also about gods, and that somehow quantum mechanics unified the two. With the term waves, I'm referring to the patterns in nature which we humans have managed to recognize, deconstruct and formalize into theories and equations that we somehow even find elegant or beautiful. And with the term gods, I'm referring to those mysterious aspects of nature which we have yet to understand and the lengths that we go to, the stories we invent in our attempts to make sense of them. And with quantum mechanics, I'm referring to the fringes of human knowledge, which we empirically know to be accurate and can understand through the language of mathematics, but we're not yet able to fully comprehend on a deeper level. With this backdrop, in my work, I investigate the tensions between technology, ecology, science and spirituality. I draw connections between intelligence in nature, intelligence in machines, perception, consciousness, neuroscience, biology, physics, and philosophies of spirituality, ritual, and religion. I'm inspired by nature, or rather, the nature of nature. The fundamental forces and underlying processes that shape everything that happens around and inside us. When I look at a flower, I see the nuclear fusion in the heart of the sun, the photons scattering in the atmosphere to create a crimson sky, the photosynthesis that fuels life on Earth, the fluid dynamics driving the wind and the waves crashing on the shore, and the complex ecosystems they cultivate via a symbiotic spread of seeds. I study these hidden processes that shape our world, and I develop systems that abstract behavior, and I'm fascinated by our capacity to dig deeper and discover and learn more about the poetry of nature. I write code, that's my craft, so to speak. I write code to create speculative simulations and data dramatizations. I write code to create moving images, experimental animations, sounds, and to control robotic lights and lasers. I collaborate with dancers. I collaborate with machines. I build interactive systems exploring meaningful human control. I create visual instruments that augment our capacity for creative expression, immersive environments that respond to human presence, computational systems that allow and foster expressive human-machine interaction. I work with emerging technologies thinking of these technologies as extensions of our body, as extensions of our mind, thinking about their impact on us as individuals, how we behave and express ourselves, and ultimately their impact on culture, ethics, law, tradition, ritual, and religion. I think about ritual and religion a lot, not necessarily the old, well-established rituals, religions, or forms of spirituality, but rather their new, evolved incarnations. New rituals, new spiritual frameworks, new forms of worship, 
and the values enmeshed with the technologies that we're creating. What I'm really fascinated by is we, who are biologically identical to what we were 200,000 years ago, how do we cope and adapt throughout the crazy technological developments that we've lived through? I think of rituals as algorithms for the body and mind that transform our mental and emotional state to otherwise unattainable modes of being. And this is why, in a lot of my work, I'm trying to capture and convey these sensations that we might relate to as spiritual or even religious experiences. I enjoy treading the lines between comfortable and uncomfortable. I embrace the contradictory complexities of our techno culture. So in my practice, I advance critical perspectives on emerging technologies and social power dynamics. At the same time, I also strive to create meditative and introspective environments that nurture a sense of wonderment, awe, connection to the planet, connection to the cosmos, connection to each other and all living beings. Finally, I think a lot about the mind, the human mind, non-human minds, biological minds, synthetic minds, distributed minds. I think a lot about intelligence, intelligence in humans, intelligence in nature, intelligence in machines. And this is ultimately the topic that I received my PhD in. I'm really interested in the technologies and the politics of the technologies and where artificial intelligence as a concept came from and how the technologies have manifested themselves today in our lives and the social and cultural implications of the path that they're on. But I'm equally fascinated by a more speculative metaphysics of AI as reflections of ourselves, as reflections on how we perceive the world and how we make meaning, as a computational lens on trying to understand ourselves, the nature of the mind, and perhaps, eventually, even consciousness.